Uh, let me take a look. I'm trying to make you the presenter, but I don't. There we are. Yep, now I can. Okay. Sure can. Yeah, All right. You. Well, thanks. Take Zach. it away, Dave. All yeah. right. Um, so, uh, as Zach said, my name's Dave, and uh, I'm over in uh, Manchester, New Hampshire, and happy to see a bunch of you uh, still attending here, even though we have uh, Autodesk University going on. I know uh, a lot of folks are probably at Autodesk University and uh, learning all kinds of great stuff about our new offerings and, uh, and uh, you know, socializing with all the other attendees there. But uh, great that to have you folks with us. Um, so. Um, the first thing I want to do before I even get into Design Center, um, so D Design Center is going to be a, a, a tool that allows you to kind of pull different things out of other drawings. Um, the way that you know most people are probably doing things today is uh, you know you have a um, a drawing and you are just you know coming over and selecting something from a drawing and doing a copy and then bring it into another drawing, doing a paste or something like that. And what you're going to see with Design Center is uh, Design Center is a, a much more efficient way to be able to get data from other drawings. Uh, it's also a great tool that uh, to do some stuff that you really can't do any other way, um, you know, like uh, you know, copying layers from one drawing to another and things like that. Um, so the, you know, uh, I guess the first thing is, you know, where is Design Center? And just like everything in AutoCAD, there's you know um, bunches of different ways to get to things. So you're gonna you can find Design Center in a number of places in the ribbon, uh, on the View uh, ribbon, over here in the Palette section. There's the uh, icon here for Design Center, so you can access it that way. You can get to it from the Insert tab. There's a Design Center option over here, or you could type in um, the command AD Center or even just ADC if you want, this is a little shortcut to open up Design Center. But re regardless of how you do it, it'll open up uh, this Design Center window and I'll get to this in just a second. Um, one thing that you, you know, that happens if you're using Design Center is just one more darn palette to get in your way, right? So right now I've got, uh, you know, the Layer Manager palette open, I've got my two palettes open, I've got my property palette, uh, I've got my external references, and now I've just added a fifth one here uh, for Design Center. So um, I typically do the tips and tricks track, and uh, so I'm just too tempted to not go over at least this one tip here. Um, if you take any of these palettes and you right-click on the edge here and you select Allow Docking, and then you could select either Anchor Left or Anchor Right, and it'll put it right on the, the side panel there. And if you have the uh, little selection here for auto hide turned on, as soon as you move your cursor off, it'll collapse. So one of the things that I like to do is to basically anchor all of these different palettes to the side screen. And it basically gets them out of the way. Sorry about that. It's just a uh, had a little cough there. Um, so it gets them out of the way, and then if you need one, you just basically hover over whichever one you want, and it'll open that up. And uh, it doesn't take up all that real estate, and it's always on in the same basic place. There is there is one issue with AutoCAD, and that uh, the order of these various palettes may change when you reopen AutoCAD. So it, you know, uh, properties is the third one down right now. If I close AutoCAD and open it back up, it may be the top one or something. Um, so that's that is one little issue, but it's a, uh, you know, it's pretty easy to see what's going on here. And if you really want to save some space, you can also just set this to icons, and you just get icons here instead of uh, instead of text. But I like the text; it's, it certainly makes it easier to identify what's what because those icons are pretty tiny. So. Um, this is a good way to just organize some of your palettes. And if you want, you can put some on the right, some on the left, whatever you want to do. Um, so in Design Center, so uh, I start off by looking at the user interface a little bit here. So basically, uh, it's a you know, pretty basic uh, dialog box. You know, you have a, a, a folder view over here on the left-hand side. Um, basically, you just can navigate wherever you need to within your computer or your network environment. Um, there's a uh, tab here for whichever drawings are currently open, which is uh, kind of nice. So you can 
um, if you have some kind of library file and you open it up, you can always get to things. And then there's also a history tab, which will show you, like, uh, I think it's up to 20 of your last uh, files that you've been working with. So um, pretty basic type of user interface. Uh, I'll come over to, I'll talk about this here. In a, um, yeah, I should talk about it right now real quick. So um, over here in, in your drawings, when you, when you first open up Design Center, it's going to default by, um, you know, out of, out of the box to your sample folders. So if you were to close this thing and, and open it up, I've already uh, closed it, it would browse automatically here to your sample folder, and that's where you were going to be. So uh, basically, you can take this, and uh, right now this is actually my home, home uh, folder. If I were to go somewhere else and I select on a little home button, it'll bring me right to these, fo these files, uh, which is the default location. Um, once you're into these files, right, that you can come over and open, uh, take a look at any of these drawings, and you can see that um, Design Center will actually allow you to, to mine all these different types of, of objects and things um, from the drawing that, you're, that you currently have highlighted, and then you can insert those into your current drawing and, and actually even do some other things. Um, if we look at the top section here, um, whoops, sorry, just went off my design center. If you look at the top section, yeah, it's pretty basic. You can open up a file, you can go back, go forward, uh, you can go up a level. Uh, I'll come back to this one here in a little bit later on, but uh, you can actually search for things. I'll show you how that works. Um, you can go to your favorites tab uh, or folder, and you can add any uh, drawing you want to your favorite. So if you're using something over and over again, you can just uh, select on a drawing here and add it to your favorites. And um, whenever I go to the favorites, that's that drawing. You know, there'll be a link to that drawing from the favorites panel. And then uh, if it, if we were somewhere else, so let's see, I just just select on something, whatever. Um, as I already showed you, you can just hit home, and it'll bring you right back to wherever you want as your default home panel or home uh, page here. Um, actually, and for for this webinar, I actually uh, want this to be somewhere else. So I actually copied uh, all of these drawings to a, a webinars folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that my home panel. So if I go somewhere else and I hit home now, it's going to bring me right to my drawings that I, I want to use for this particular webinar. Um, the, some of these other options here, um, there's a, you know, the ability to turn off the tree view. So you know, if you're always working in the same folder and you don't really need to see that, you could turn that off. It gives you a little bit more real estate. Right? Turn that back on. You could turn off the uh, preview. So if I select on this and select on a block or whatever, we have a preview area down uh, on the underneath the various uh, blocks that are showing up on the top. Gives you a nice big, uh, a much better view, and you can expand that to make it a little bit bigger, so you can see things a little easier here as you're working through the uh, various blocks. So uh, it's one of my suggestions is to kind of expand that up a little bit. And then there's also a description down here. And you can turn off the description if you don't care about the description. So that's just an option. And then, of course, we have large icons, small icons, which basically are so small that you can't really see anything. Uh, you can put this in a list view. So you just have a list of all the names or a details view. So um, just gives you a slightly different. The thing that works the best for me, I guess, is the, uh, the large icon view. Uh, but that's, uh, that shows you there. Okay. So let me uh, start by going through some of these various uh, components. Um, as I as I said, uh, you know, if we're just looking at blocks, actually, I'm going to use a different drawing. Uh, let's look at uh, Home Designer and look at the blocks. <clears throat> so the probably the one of the most common things to use, you know, for the um, for Design Center is, is mining blocks out of it, out of something. So if I were to take, you know, if I wanted this bathtub in my drawing, um, we can simply take this and I can just drag it and drop it right into my drawing file and it will insert that like that. Um, however, you notice that I didn't really get any prompts here, right? Um, 
it, it basically just inserted the block. However, if I double click on the block, that, that brings up my standard insert dialog box. So I could turn on things like, uh, you know, I want to specify the insertion point and the rotation angle. So when I get the, uh, the block here, I can, you know, rotate it, do whatever I want with it. So um, pretty, pretty simple stuff there. Uh, we can also actually get right. So one of the things that's really cool about Design Center is it, it is kind of a combination of lots of different uh, AutoCAD commands. So, you know, I just showed you how you can do an insert. Um, I can even re uh, redefine the block or uh, insert and redefine it or even get right into the block editor. So if I needed to change this, I can hit block editor. It'll go ahead and uh, open up the drawing for me and, uh, and start to the block editor. So right now I can make any changes I want to this block. I'm not going to make any. I'm just going to go ahead and close it. But uh, you, know, you can get directly into um, the block editor from Design Center. 